I've got to fix you up with something or if you just hang on for a while when I'm out of all this I'll fix you up with something I don't want you to do it for nothing I so much appreciate what you're doing today I want to help someone in need my previous boss and good friend has gone through a marriage breakup and this has impacted the relationship with his kids his son loves gaming and I know by building a PC for him this is going to help mend that relationship so I'm going to surprise them both with this PC we'll get some benchmarks and I'll see if I can get his reaction at the end of the video if your name is appearing on screen right now congratulations you have won last week's $100 giveaway you have exactly seven days to respond to your comment before it is invalid this week we are bringing back the $100 giveaway once again all you have to do is watch the full video and leave a comment down below. Anyone who comments within the first hour of the video being uploaded will be entered to win. We will be double checking that you watch the whole video. We upload every Sunday, 11 p.m. AEST or Australian Eastern Standard Time. Good luck. So this is the Divider 300 TG ARGB case. Now, Obviously, by looking at the front of the case, you guys can see why it's called the divider. I actually received this case from Thermaltake quite a while back, and I was just thinking to myself, when would be the right time to use this case in a build? Now, you guys know we're all about the looks of systems. However, this particular system is more about just getting a functioning PC and helping someone out. So I thought, this would be the perfect time to use this case. Number one, we, I'm not really a fan of the front of the case with half of the computer being blocked off. Hi there, Future Corey here. Our audio seemed to have some technical difficulties, so I'm here just to, you know, get my point across. What I'm saying is I don't really like the front of this case because half of it is blocked off. People usually either like it fully blocked off or completely showing all of the components. Me personally, I like to see all of that water cooling and hardware inside, so that is my personal preference. But this case is perfect in this situation because Alex usually has his PC under the desk, so he's not constantly looking at it all the time. So I thought this case is perfect for this project. On with the video. So the Z590 Extreme Wi-Fi 6E from ASRock was our first choice of motherboard. It is last generation, however, for what he does with his system, this is going to be plenty. This is going to make for a good mid-range gaming PC, and one thing that I know he is going to need is Wi-Fi, and this has built-in Wi-Fi. We can also take advantage of our Gen 4 speeds, um, and I've also actually painted this motherboard before. We've got like bits of whites on it. So we've got two NVMe drives, a one terabyte and a two terabyte. The one terabyte is Gen 4 and that'll go in the top slot and the two terabyte will go in the bottom slot. So for the CPU, his son doesn't actually stream. So that means that we don't really need a huge core count. So we've gone with the i5 11600K CPU this CPU has six cores and 12 threads, and what is mostly important here is the single core speed performance. This is gonna do just that. It's gonna perform really well. To install the CPU, we have to release the tension latch by pushing it down and out. The CPU will only go in one way by lining up the notches on the CPU with the socket, or by finding the small triangle on both the corner of the CPU and the socket. I like to drop it in and give it a small wiggle to make sure it is seated firmly before securing it up. So for his son's system, I've gone with two NVMe drives. The motherboard actually has one Gen 4 slot, so I wanna make sure that we install a Gen 4 drive in there for his Windows. That particular drive is a Seagate Firecuda 520, and it's gonna have one terabyte of storage. Now we know he's an avid gamer, right? And games these days, they're taking up a lot of space. So we also wanna add in another Gen 3 drive with two terabytes of space. 
This means that his boot times for games will be much faster than your regular hard drive. The Fire Akuta 520 Gen 4 drive has read and write speeds of 5,000 megabytes per second, which is over 10 times faster than a regular hard drive. Installing Windows on this with a bunch of his favorite programs mean boot times will be exceptionally faster. The Gen 3 drive is also a massive speed boost in his everyday computing tasks. You know, it's the big old debate, 16 gigs or 32 gigs. We're gonna go with 32 gigs just because we can. This is the spare RAM we had, so I decided, you know what, 32 gigs, so let's, let's not even have that as a question. Let's make sure that we cover all our bases and 32 gigs was the option. So this is the XPG Spectrix D60G RGB RAM going into the system. And with 32 gigs, he should be able to play all of his games pretty easy. Let's get him installed. Installing RAM is fairly simple. However, to a new builder, you might almost feel like you were going to break them. By opening the latches, you can line up the notch at the bottom of the stick with the notch in the RAM channel. They just don't go in by themselves, so it will require a bit of a push until you hear the clicks on both sides of the RAM stick. While we're installing the motherboard into the case, I just want to thank you all for being here. If you are enjoying what we do, please leave a like and consider commenting and subscribing to the channel. Tech channels have been hit hard lately with the overall interest in tech down. This affects smaller creators more than larger creators because smaller creators don't have a huge audience there to help push that video out initially so YouTube doesn't promote it. Make sure to support your favorite creators in this space. I'd also love to have you over on our Discord where we can interact and host monthly giveaways. The link will be in the description. Look, his son is a younger guy, so we are going to put in some of the most RGB fans that I know, and that is the Thermaltake Ring Quad RGB fans. He's very much into his RGB, so we're gonna help him out with that. We've also got them in white because the case is also white, so it should pair really nice and look good in this system. The PC needs to be as hassle-free maintenance-wise as possible. So instead of going for water cooling this week, we're actually going to put the MSI Core Liquid K360 uh, CPU cooler in there. And this way, there's no worries for Graham, there's no worries for his son, and it should look really nice. We'll actually give this a little paint job as well because on our previous build, we actually did paint it gold. Um, but once we get it painted white, it should fit with our case really nice. If I can get this out. So I was thinking, what would be a good GPU for his son's needs? He has a 1080p monitor, he just loves to game, there's no streaming or anything involved, and none other than the Gamewood Phoenix RTX 3060 Ti came into mind. And I actually want to thank Gamewood because they were gracious enough to provide this for us for a video, and this is the perfect timing for it. It's an all black design, yeah, it may not fit in entirely well with all of the rest of the white components but this is a free build to help out his son so when it comes to the color scheme and that that's not a priority at the moment we really want a nice functioning system for him the gamewood phoenix rtx 3060 ti is a three fan design creating plenty of cooling the card comes with integrated rgb which we'll leave on stock this card requires two eight pin connectors for the power the GPU clock speed is 1665 megahertz with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. 
The power supply is the Cooler Master V850 V2 Gold Rated Power Supply. The graphics card itself will draw around 200 watts and the i5-11600K will also draw around 200 watts at peak. The rest of the system will not draw too much so that gives us plenty of headroom if Alex ever decides to upgrade his GPU in the future. Computer lighting is one of his favorite things, so I decided to give him some RGB cables. I was unable to use the GPU RGB cables due to the fact that the power connectors on the GPU are facing the opposite way to the cables, so we ended up only using the 24 pin. Okay guys, so I've made an account just to test out Fortnite for him and as you can see, we're sitting at 82, 80 FPS coming into the game. I absolutely have no idea what I have to do. I do know that I have to get some materials and stuff for building. Does, does building work? Okay, there we go. So that's how you place a wall. But as you can see guys, 82 FPS. Now, I'm actually testing it at 1440p epic settings. Now the reason I'm doing 1440p is because we know he has a 1080p monitor. So if it's performing in 1440p, then we know it's definitely going to be performing in 1080p. Now obviously 60 FPS is that sweet spot. So you can imagine how well this is going to perform at eight uh, at 1080p. 95 FPS running down the road here. I actually have no idea where I have to go to uh, find people, but as you can see, the game is performing as intended on this RTX 3060 Ti from Gamewood. Okay, so we are now running into PUBG. This is 1440p ultra settings, and you can see that we are sitting at about 130, 120 FPS. This is absolutely brilliant for this system. I mean, I'm pretty sure Alex is going to be super happy with this system, especially in 1080p. He's going to be getting so much FPS, and we made sure to just stress test it above and beyond what he's actually going to be using it for. And so, you know, the numbers speak for themselves. I'd be super happy with this system myself, and I think he's going to really enjoy it. So let's get out of PUBG and let's wrap this up. So you don't have to worry about the PC because it's just spare parts that we had. Yeah. So, you know, I wasn't... I still want to do something. I, I, <laughs> it's all right, Graham. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Like, to take us out to lunch or something. Oh, that'd be lovely. I'll come up one day and take <laughs> you out to lunch. Yeah, yeah, when, we'll do when that. I'm over, when I'm over all this, I'll be able to bring the Mercedes up for a run and take you out for yeah, lunch or something right. like that. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that build video. I'm super glad that we are able to help someone out, especially a close friend to us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the process along the way. I know it's not our usual type of video, but if you did enjoy, please let us know in the comments if you would like us to do more. Perhaps we can help you subscribers out. All of the links to the parts will be in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, YouTube channel memberships or Patreon is linked down below as well. It helps us out a bunch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.